everyone. We have this new app called Geolocation, and we actually have two versions of this app. One is called the Geolocation Widget, and one is Geolocation for Saved Links. In this video, I'm going to explain how this app works. And basically, what this app does is it allows you to create IDX Broker Saves Links with Geolocation involved. So, what does that mean? People will be able to go on a specific URL and look at nearby properties of where they're at at the moment. If there are properties available near the place they're at, they will appear for them. Let me show you how you can set this up and how it works. This is a client that already has the geolocation save link activated, but I'm going to walk you through the process anyway. So you need to turn on the service and then you are able to specify the miles that these properties um, would be at from the location the person is at. So if you add in two miles, only properties two miles from the location of that lead will be showing. So you decide um, what to type in here and then the zoom of the map. The recommended value is 13, but you can decide how much zoom you want. 18 is the maximum number and that is as close as possible. Then you can set up some default parameters for your link. Um, you can decide the type of properties you want to show. It can be all properties or a certain category you can click on here. And then you can set up a minimum price and a maximum price of the properties that would be showing up. You can also sort the properties by newest listing, oldest listing, number of bathrooms, square feet, least expensive to most expensive, etc. And you would save the settings. So you would click on this button and then um, the app will give you a code. So you copy this code and the tutorial tells you where you need to add this code. So let's go to the tutorial and it says go to the IDX broker subheaders. I'm on this client site. Click on save links and look for one called near me. So it's over here and it's this one, the one that doesn't have a dash. This is another one that the client created. Turn WYSIWYG off and paste the code here and click on save. This client already has it activated, so it's already showing. Usually this would be blank. If there's code in here, don't delete it. Just click on the next row, paste the code, and click on save. Now you're done. All you have to do is verify that the code is set up correctly. So you click on that button and the system tells you the saved link contains the subheaders code. Now I'm going to be going to the saved links. And here is the near me saved link. Let me preview this for you. And this is the URL that it created. I'm not in Toronto right now, so it would not be showing results for me. But there's a way to preview this as if I was in Toronto. So I will click on inspect and I have already added the coordinates for a specific place in Toronto. You don't have to do this. This is just because I'm in another place that is not Toronto. But usually if somebody goes on your site and they're on a place and that place has properties, it would show the results. If it doesn't, it would just say zero results. So let me choose that place and refresh this for you to see. Okay, so now it's showing 226 results. And these are the properties nearby um, the latitude and longitude I added in. This is a specific community. And these would be the properties near me in this case. If I modify my location, it would change. So if I click on Tokyo, for example, it would show zero results because there are no properties in Tokyo in this place. When somebody goes on that URL for the first time, which would be this link, it will ask to use their location. If they agree to this, then the geolocation save link will now start working. This is very useful because it only shows properties nearby a certain place. So these leads that use this save link are more likely to find properties that they like that are nearby um, where they're currently living. So this is very useful. This is completely for free at idxadams.com. You can become a Realty County client by making Realty County your developer partner if you have an IDX broker account. Just send an email to developers at idxbroker.com to make the change.